Hi, welcome to my first video. My name is Jamila and I'm the face behind the Boho Rat. This is Coconut and today we are going to show you a cage tour of our latest theme, Secret Garden. Before I do so, I want to go over a couple of the most common questions and comments that I get about my themes. The first one being that people seem to think that these themes don't last long and everyone wants to see what the cage looks like after a week, but these little guys they're actually really not destructive. So these themes last really long here, which is a good thing. Otherwise I wouldn't be doing these anymore. Yep. The cage kind of looks the same after a week. Obviously it is ready for a wash. I spot clean daily. They're not destructive. So these themes are actually a really nice thing to keep doing here. Um, the second thing is that people um, seem to think that I have a lot of time on my hands, which I wish was the case. I just make sure that I take my time with each theme. I do these things in my spare time because in the other time I make your orders. And then I set everything up in one day and it's done. <laughs> the last thing a lot of you wonder is if I spend a fortune on every cage theme that I do, which unfortunately is also not the case. Um, I do get a couple of new things for most themes, but those are usually cheap things. And so yeah, I definitely try to keep that as low as I can. And obviously I make all the hammocks and the other fleece items myself, so that saves me a bunch of money. So yeah, now that we went over that, let's get on to the cage tour. So this is the entire cage setup with the secret garden theme in. You will be able to pre-order this theme soon. I went with lots of greens, flowers and real plants, along with cage liners in dark brown and beige to really get that garden feel. We'll start by taking a closer look at the top half of the cage. I attached this wooden basket to the back of the cage and filled it with Carefresh bedding. I get almost everything at pet stores here in the Netherlands, but things like baskets I usually find at other types of stores. This one is from the Danish store Sostrene Krene. I will leave links to my favorite stores in the description. The boys really love foraging for food or sleeping in this basket. Next to the basket is a wooden bridge that leads to the back of the cube hammock and this wooden chew toy I got at PetSmart in the US. The leaf hammock, which is one of the originals for this theme, hangs above the basket. As you can see, it's a really spacious hammock that isn't completely flat. In front of the leaf is this fun pinecone chew toy that I sometimes use to hide food in. Towards the front of the cage you can find this cube hammock. I chose to use two different colors of fleece for this one. In the middle I have this really cool sanded vine that leads to the shelf. It's super smooth and one of my favorite items to use for a natural setup. Here we have this thyme plant that Gulliver is enjoying at the moment. I never leave any live plants in the cage 24-7 so I can monitor the boy's intake. Some other things on this shelf are this really cute tea house hammock, which is actually one of their favorites, a litter tray with a pea rock, and the sunflower hammock, which is my personal favorite original hammock of this set. In the litter trays I use back to nature bedding, and the pea rock is just a regular flat rock from outside that I boiled out in hot water before use. All the way along the top I have this leafy garland. I absolutely love how garlands help bring together the overall look of a setup. I added different colored green strips to add more volume and I tied some fleece flowers on there too. It doesn't only look pretty, but the boys actually also love boxing all the little hanging strips and leaves. All the live plants I use are safe for rats to consume, like this cat grass plant. Make sure to research what plants are safe for your animals before putting them in the cage. And here's just some more care fresh bedding in this really cool cork tunnel from the brand Back Zoo Nature. It comes with this really long and handy screw so you can easily attach the tunnel to your cage. Oh. 
Another fun Back Zoo Nature product is this coconut flower pot, which is a perfect foraging toy. We've had it for almost a year now and it's definitely one of our boys' favorites. This toy by Rosewood is one of the very few things I got specifically for this theme. And over here we have a turtle plant, a furplast drinky silent water bottle, and a snuffle mat that I made for the boys, which is really fun to hide food in. Towards the back is their moss playhouse, which is a converted wooden IKEA crate. I added popsicle sticks and moss with safe wood glue and painted some parts with non-toxic paint. I was going to take this out of the cage before bed, but they sleep and play in it all the time and actually haven't chewed it so far, so I decided to just leave it in for them to enjoy. This is where we find them sleeping in the morning all the time. They usually drag the snuffle mat in there with them too. The only things I used on the doors this time were these two ledges. They technically don't really need them, but I thought it would be a nice addition anyway. Now that you've seen the top half, let's go explore the bottom half of the cage. Let's start with their dig box. It's filled with coconut soil and I added a turtle plant, store-bought pine cones and flaxseed. There's a video tutorial on how we made a dig box on my Facebook page. Behind the dig box I put this spider plant. We've had this piñata by Baxu Nature for a pretty long time now. It used to be filled with crinkle paper. It's pretty chewed up but they still really like it. This is another Baxu Nature chew toy. It's made out of cork, just like their Trixie cork cave that they really like to hide in. I put some carefresh bedding in there for them to play with. This fun forage toy by JR Farm comes with handy little holes to hide treats in. I love the willow stem flowers I made for this theme. You can hide food in the petals and the rats can chew the willow twig. You can also easily remove the leaves and petals when it's time for laundry. Here we have another litter box, which is resting on a cargo net, and you can also see the IKEA scarf hanger that a lot of people use, and a strawberry plant, which I'm still waiting on for it to grow some actual strawberries. I love this banana chew I got at PetSmart because I can stuff food in there and it just looks so cute. 
You can't really see it in the photos, but in the back I put this extra platform. And this is the ladybug hammock I designed specifically for this theme. The boys use this one a lot and coconut even hides all the way in the head of the ladybug. It's spacious enough to hold all four of them. This hemp rope goes all the way to the left side of the cage. And this is their radiator hammock. They mostly use the top as a platform and the hanging part is for snuggling up in. Here's a better view of the scarf holder, and then there's this tube hammock and a wooden roll to stuff bedding or food in. I chose to have a different garland on the bottom. I think the flowers and leaves make it look so pretty. bottom I also don't have a lot on the doors, just these two ledges that they actually do use a lot. So there you have it, the entire secret garden cage theme. As with all my setups, I made sure the setup is safe and accessible and all the rat's needs are met. I love making things look pretty, but the most important thing is always to create something that works for the rats. Thank you so much for watching my first cage tour and I hope to see you at the next one.